Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using Elements 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create solid layer, right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name Element 3D. Click OK and go to FX, Video Copilot, Element and click Scene Setup, Import and as you can see here, we have Tesla Track, 3D object, let's select and click open and don't change any settings, click OK and let's click normalize size OK and move up and go to create, let's create new plane and click scale tool, change scale so in this time select move tool and select Tesla track Okay, and let's move to down like this. So, right now let's add textures. Let's open inside and select the Tesla black. Okay, this is for wheels. Go to presets and physical. Select this black gloss. Let's use for black. Let's see. Okay, nice. And select base. Let's see which texture this. Okay, this is main texture. Go to diffuse and non set. Click load texture and let's open texture folder. Select this texture and click open. And click OK. So we have problem with textures. Let's fix it. Select this Tesla track and go to texture. And we can change UV mapping here texture mapping let's click for choose style simple plane okay that's good we can use this and select this tesla front light and let's use bright light let's drag and drop here and change color red and tesla rewrite let's see which lights this Okay, this is stop lights. Let's back to scene materials. Select this bright light. Use for backlights. Nice. And material for, let's see. Okay, this is for window. Let's go to presets and physical. Let's use material glass. Let's drag and use for material for. Nice. And material one. And this does important for this car. And let's open standard shaders and choose material for plane. Let's try this material. Okay, and click this checkbox for see full texture. Okay, not bad. And select this plane and let's open inside and select texture. Okay, not bad. Let's click OK. And right now, time to create camera. Right mouse, new and camera. And don't change any settings. Click OK. And I will use camera controls with these buttons, these three buttons. Also, we can click C on keyboard for shortcut. Let's press C. And change view. Let's press C again to zoom here. OK. And for realistic visuals, let's select these elements ready. Go to render settings and ambient occlusion. Let's enable for shadows and change this 10 in testing. Okay, let's try change settings for low shadow quality. And let's back to scene setup again and click here. Let's enable ambient occlusion for C shadow and click environment and back to environment folder and backlights and let's choose here lighting let's try this or this okay that's good let's click ok and close ambient collision in this time select camera one and right mouse go to camera and create orbit null and hold control double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center click session tool Select Null, press R, Hold Shift, press P, 
and create first x y z rotations and go to seven seconds and press n for select work area and let's try change rotation like this and try to change z rotation and x rotation let's see okay not bad and let's create new passing in frame and go to last second and move to right and change these positions okay pretty good so we can change texture let's select element 3d back to scene setup and go to presets let's open standard shaders this folder and let's try to use this texture okay pretty good and click ok let's see nice so let's add smoke and fog let's close physical environment and open fog settings click enable and for color let's choose here color like this and change fog range like this and opacity and let's open fog color choose blue Okay, not bad. Let's try to change this fog start distance for realistic scene. Let's see. Okay, more better. And select this camera one. Let's open inside camera options and enable default field. Let's change quality quarter change blur level 150 and aperture let's change aperture and distance okay let's see so not bad let's change quality full okay let's change seconds like this for c car details Okay, that's good. I like it. So let's change quality quarter and select these elements already. Let's close fog, open physical environment and create X rotation. Go to seven seconds and change rotation like this. Let's see. Okay, this is more dynamic. So let's back to first second and select elements ready go to scene setup and select this tesla track and choose aux channel one and plane choose x channel two and click ok so in this time select these elements ready let's close render settings and open first group aux channels and channel one so right now we can drive tesla track for example let's see okay let's first go to here and create new passing in keyframe go to back and move to back this track and select element ready press u let's see okay select two frames make it easy go to graph editor and make smooth graph okay and right now let's create new passing in frame and go to here let's drive car like this okay so finally let's select these two position in frames and move to left for more speedly and dynamic animation let's move to left these two frames move to left more OK, 
Okay, and select this null object, press U, and go to here, select these last few frames, move to like this, and change rotation like this for more to front, and this rotation. And select Q frames, move to like this. Let's see. Let's move to left more. Nice. And go to here and change rotation. Okay, so in this time, let's go to first second and select this middle Y rotation Q frame and delete. Okay, and select these two passing two frames, move to right. Nice. So we can add here text and before select this element 3D, close these settings, go to render settings and physical environment. Let's open here and click show in background. Okay, right now we can add text here. For example, go to text and right here, Cybertruck and Clisation tool. Move to here, change font style. And let's hide text layer and select element 3D. Let's open layer customs, custom text and mask. Choose path layer 1, text layer. And go to scene setup and close these settings. And let's click extrude use this texture for text and select this text let's go to aux channel choose aux channel 3 change scale here and extrude let's select this extrusion model change bevel scale okay let's click ok let's see Okay, that's good. And let's go to AUX channel and AUX channel 3. And here let's create new cube. Let's create new cube frame and press U for C cube frames. Let's move that up and go to here. Let's go to 10 cube frames. Move to down. Go to three two frames for go to frame by frame two frames use page down keyboard one two three and let's move to up lady bit again one two three select this two frame copy pass and make it easy and select work area let's see okay so for filing animation select two frames go to graph editor and let's zoom in here this is first two frame and select this graph let's move to right for filing animation also this graph let's see nice so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck